guys um in my last video i um talked about my camel um traveler's notebook set up for my planning system so if you want to have a look at that it's in my last video i just wanted to show you um two others that i'm using um one being the olive which i just recently got i use them for journaling but this is the olive it turned up today um and it's a lovely brownie color i'm not sure that i would have known it was an olive even putting this like green patch on it i'm not entirely sure it brings out the olive i do like it because it's a smooth it's a nice leather i don't like it as much as the suede um camel but it is um like i knew it wasn't going to look very green because i knew that um, people were saying that i think maybe the passport might look a bit more green i'm just going to pop it in the sunlight to see if it's maybe it's a little bit more khaki when you put it in the sunlight but um here it is compared to so that's the suede underneath uh the the camel underneath it and then here is the dark brown um or the brown next to it and i think if you put it next to the brown it does come out a little bit more olivey um so that is it now i really felt like this needed a little bit of decoration um so i have got some words embossed on it and i've got a patch so this is a little guard i just glued it on you can totally see where the glue's leaked out which is fine because i plan on roughing this up a lot um so this is i thought it was a dragon but it's actually a guard like a, a type of like a mythical guard dog creature which is amazing because i've been watching this korean drama series on netflix and there's a little this amazing guard dog that turns up spirit guard dog that turns up in that and this reminds me of it um so i pop that at the top and then here i've got some words embossed words i'd like to remember forever it says kiki elsa mummy anna and daddy rorof um it's my you know okay so when i had so my son is much older sort of like primary school age <coughs> sorry um and he can't speak um or communicate he doesn't have um like he can't use sign he can't use like you know digital like lap laptops and stuff to communicate or anything like that but when he was very little and we were still hoping he'd be able to speak i remember writing like a little wish list and i wrote um you know one of my wishes was that he would be able to speak one day and then um as time went on and that became very unlikely <coughs> I changed my wish to say I just hope that he can communicate one day because it occurred to me that you know wishing for someone to speak with language was maybe like it was it was too big a wish or it was maybe unfairly asking for too much and I, I would be so grateful if he could just communicate because that's really what 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 matters in terms of being able to help him and, and all of that stuff and as it turned out he wasn't he well to date he's still not able to really communicate so when we had my daughter we knew there was a really uh like high chance that she, she could have the same problems um you know um and so when she when i was like writing my wishes for her i didn't want to say i i wish she can speak because i just felt like asking for too much from the outset so but i couldn't help myself from saying i i hope she can learn to communicate because it's just such a strong wish i couldn't help but put it out there it's just so clearly there but you know in the back of your mind like you do still secretly hope i hope that you know language is there because you know at that point i would have just like died to hear like one of my children's voices in a you know in a language kind of way so then she does speak she chatters she, she now you know she's um three and she chatters on and on um and because of that journey like everything she says it just fills us with this insane level of joy like whenever she says anything or does anything like you know she doesn't have to do very much it just feels like a massive hit of unfathomable joy so um one of the things she says is you know she got into frozen which funnily enough like when my son was growing up frozen was there there's you know he doesn't understand stuff so you know he, he doesn't you know he doesn't get tv 
um, TV shows or anything like that. But, you know, everyone would be talking about their kids, you know, repeating the Frozen songs in the car and how annoying it was. And there's just this part of me that wished that was me. And so even though Frozen's kind of over, she found out about it. My daughter found out about it, I think, in daycare or something and was had a Frozen phase where she was just obsessed with Frozen. And as annoying as it was, like it was simultaneously really joyful um because it was my wish come true <laughs> many years later um so she's still a little bit into frozen but not really but during her frozen phase she would say her name which is kiki and she would say kiki elsa so she'd be say she would say that she was elsa because you know she's definitely the main character and she thinks that's elsa as all the kids do she'd say mommy anna <laughs> which I loved because, you know, um, Elsa and Anna have a beautiful relationship. So I loved being Anna. And she would say Daddy Rorof. So she couldn't say Olaf. Olaf is the snowman. So the main character is Kristoff. Like the, the main male character is Kristoff, who's the protagonist to Anna. I'm uh, oh, sorry, who's the, who's the like the love interest for Anna. Um, and then there are two side characters. One is this adorable reindeer called Sven. She says Ben. Um, and then there's this r ridiculous snowman, and that's Olaf. And we just thought it was so funny that she was Elsa, I was Anna, and her dad was not even Kristoff or even Sven. He was Olaf. <laughs> so, and we love how she says Rorof. So I just had to like, mem like memorialize this in, in stone, in, in leather. You know, um, so I got it embossed. It was so expensive to emboss three lines. And a part of me was like, no way am I paying that much to emboss this, um, you know. But then I was like, no, this is like the most priceless dream come true type memory and I'm going to do it. So I got that embossed on here. So I get this from Bookbinders um, Online, which is an Australian store and they do have an embossing service. Um, and then I got this patch because I just think it needs a bit of decoration. Um, and so it's the guard dog. So I love it. Um, I wasn't sure initially because it just adds so much three dimensional pop to the cover, but I do like it. Um, and I just think without it, it's just too plain. It needs it needs more stuff, this one in particular. The camel, I'm more than happy for it to just look like this, but I just think this needs more. So what do I put inside this? Okay, so I've got the olive-coloured Traveller's Notebook, Traveller's Company wallet. So if I was, so this is my, this is my everyday journal where I record everything that happens in the day and I paste some photos in. So the journal is an, um, it's an A5 Stalogy, which I've gotten cut to the dimensions of a traveler's notebook. And then I have put it inside the Sterling Ink 260 page TN cover because I really like them. They're very like, there's a real nice thickness to them and a glossiness and I quite like it. And I have taken the cover from a Planner Perfect um, notebook because I just love the artwork, but I don't love the notebooks. And I had to think, okay, is it worth paying this money just for the artwork? Well, art, you know, what's art worth? Art, very suggest subjective, but I think I'll have this always. And because it's not a notebook, it's a cover. It doesn't run out after the notebooks run out. So I actually think it's very worthwhile. Um, so that is my, you know, um, every day write what happened in the day journal um and in this i've just got that and i've just got this wallet and that is the wallet is for me to put things i need for this journal so i could technically leave the house with just this and i would have enough to journal so i've got like some tabs there and then i really just use these um these stickers in my journal these sterling ink stickers and they fit very nicely in this wallet very perfect um, and then if I was going out to journal I could put pens rulers I could even put like um, uh, scissors if I wanted to if I needed them in here and yes you wouldn't have that in there normally because it'd bulk it up too much but if it was for the purpose of just going out and sitting somewhere and doing some journaling then it would make sense to do that um, instead of carrying like a whole separate pencil case around so that is my olive I'll just pop that over there and then the other journal that I've got is this one. It is the Traveler's Hotel. 
limited edition one. Um, it has got roll, rose gold embossing and like a rose goldy kind of um, thread thing, uh, elastic thing. Um, and that's it. Um, I, you know what? One of my first Traveler's Company notebooks, the first one was black and then the second one was brown. And I got it eight years ago-ish, seven, eight years ago when it was Midori Traveler's Company. That brown is still my absolute favorite brown. It was a much lighter brown than this. It was some, it was a brown in between the camel and the dark, this, this brown. And I just think it's one of the nicest, beautiful, like I just loved that leather for some reason. But like, you know, they differ from year to year, batch to batch, and that does make it very interesting. So in this one, I've got two journals. One is this craft one because I wanted to like, I like the look of that and where you can just scrapbook like things that you pick up um, from, you know, the experiences that you have. So that's what this is for. And then I've also got here this super lightweight paper journal. And honestly, this is for absolutely, I have no clue what this is for. I put the most ridiculous, doesn't make any sense, random hodgepodge stuff in there. But it's mostly because I just really like, look at how this feels. Like it feels really nice and crinkly, you know? So um, I want to keep using that over time, but it will take me a really long time to use this up because I've really got to be in the mood. Um, and I really like to use watercolors and stuff in there because it's just interesting to see how it affects the paper. Um, and again, this I would only use if there was actually stuff to scrapbook into it. Um, so these two are together. And in here, I've got the kind of things that would be more relevant to um, like scrapbooking type stuff. So, and as I collect things, if I don't have time to scrapbook it straight away, the idea is I can put them in here. Um, and then in the front, I've just got one of those um, sticky plastic um, pockets. So that I, again, this is more like these, these stickers are from the Traveler's company that I've sort of collected throughout the years and they just make more sense from a craft scrapbooking type of perspective um so I have a very different type of decorating style for that craft scrapbooky thing um compared to my everyday journal where I have I would say a more delicate I think I think these these stickers from selling ink I'd call them more delicate maybe more sophisticated very feminine, very, you know, for, you know, is it okay to say that floral is feminine? Maybe that's not okay. Apologies for saying that if it's not okay, which it probably isn't. I uh, actually don't think it is. Okay, now you know, you just dig yourself into a hole and then dig, dig, dig. Okay, it's just very floral. Let's call it that. Um, and then I don't put this anywhere because I use this so frequently. I just like it to be on its own. And it's um, what it is, is the sticker release um, insert that Traveler's Company put out with their B-side and rarities. And now I think it's a permanent insert that you can buy without the special B-sides and rarities cover. And I've put it in this plastic cover from Jet Pens. I can't remember what it's called and they're sold out now anyway, for the time being. Don't know if they will restock, but this is another cover from um, Planet Perfect. And again, like if I put it in here, I get to keep it and look at it forever. So I do think it's worthwhile. Um, and then this is from, it's from an Aussie shop, which I thought just had the cutest stickers. Um, and I can't remember what it's, I think it's called That Planner Girl. I think it's based in Adelaide in Australia. Um, it's just what I'm remembering. Um, some leftovers from um, my Sterling Ink Kit, but mostly it's for my, um, what is it called? Coffee Monster stickers um because i do use these in my main planner and i use about minimum three a day i would say um so that just kind of comes around it doesn't really sit in a notebook but so these are my three notebooks and as we i, I do kind of find it weird that like with my entire collection being as varied as it is i just really kind of just want to be in here but um it's the truth now this is also i think this is like really great to have because a traveler's company like a traveler's notebook it just won't open flat unless you've got it you've got one especially bound one but like 
in general, they don't open flat very well. And so having a weighted clip to just um, put it in the middle of the insert on the top or on the bottom, or just to weigh down a side can really help with creating a nice flat space for you to write or draw or journal in. All right, guys, um, that was fun. And I will catch up with you later. Bye.